Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Ben here from Simply Vagabond. Today I've got a short video for you on the strip down and rebuild of my diff. Um, identifying the problems with it I found after I bought it. Uh, and just preventive maintenance really to ensure a safe and smooth drive around Europe. Uh, if you like what you watch, please subscribe, um, leave a comment or click the like button. Thanks, enjoy. Right guys, I've been waiting uh, a couple of days now for my bearings to arrive so I can rebuild my diff. Uh, anyway, they came yesterday, so I picked them up and managed to put them back onto the diff itself, which should be which should be good for needed doing. So now they're done, I'm pretty confident that uh, it's going to last another lifetime. So all I've got left to do is uh, clean out the axle, because there was a lot of shit and debris in there, uh, which came from the old oil. Uh, must have been in there since it was new, because by hell, what a, what a colour. Um, I'll show you it now. Here, just have a look at this. Oh, it's epic. Just look at that. That is pure shit, that. No wonder it disc blown itself to fucking bits nearly. It hasn't quite, but it would have done. That's unbelievable. So, that's the cause of my problem anyway, I think. It hasn't been changed in a very, very long time. I mean, just look at it. It's not oil. It's more like a fucking chocolate fondue. Which has consequently fucked my bearings. Uh, that one there, as you can see, that has seen better days. Wow, way. There's also a few more bearings which are knackered, but um, I've replaced them so. The whole job should be good now. Uh, I knew there was a problem though when, when I went to pick it up after I bought it. I'm driving it back that motorway. Um, you can hear this rumble, whine, uh, humming noise. It sounded like it was coming from the, the left, you know, transmission area. Um, but I've been in mechanics a long time and I know that noises can resonate through certain things, prop shafts, drive shafts, axles, blah blah blah, and can, can sound like the problem is elsewhere. Well, like I said, I had a pretty good idea because my last camper van actually blew up um, after done. Yeah, I did 5,000 miles around Europe uh, in that one, and I got an hour away from home, and he popped his he popped his boats. Yeah, he, he blew his diff all out on the motorway. He just blew it completely out into a million bits. Uh, it was oil everywhere. Hell of a fucking mess. Uh, luckily, I had our AC cover. They came out, picked me up, uh, and took me home. But from that, I've learned, you know, that, um, that there's there's obviously certain things with older vehicles uh, which just need need to be sorted. Yeah, my last camper van was a 1976 uh, Renault Traffic, um, and my new one is a 1988 Ford Transit, Ford Transit coach build. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit newer, but they're still old, you know. Old vehicles get tired uh, if they're not looked after properly, people don't service them properly and do half a service, blah, blah, blah. So it, it, it does pay off to go through uh, really with a fine tooth comb and, and find such problems. Because uh, there's nothing worse than going away and breaking down. Uh, it happened to me twice last time uh, on the side of the motorway. Uh, once at night or once at daytime. Luckily, I was managed to fix it, uh, distribute the cap, and um, alternate a belt. That was my two problems I, that I came into contact with. But apart from that, it was it was pretty plain sailing, really. Um, until I got an hour away from home, and then it shit its ass out. Uh, so yeah, keep up your maintenance, guys. Keep up with your maintenance. 